I was just down here at the fence. The cows are over on the neighbor's side right now, just checking out the cows. This is one of mine. She's a black baldy. That's his bull there. And that's the other of mine. Uh, white with a uh, red with a white face and cream colored with a black nose, black stockings on her front, or kind of black on the legs. All three should be bred by him, a registered Angus bull, Red Angus, and uh, obviously. And um, anyway, they all should be bred and should calve, uh, when was it? I think May, April or May, which is a little later than what I would like. I'd like them to calve in, uh, in March, February or March. But in fact, I'll just look it up and put it down there about right now when they're gonna calve. Anyway, but he's got uh, I think seven cows and a bull, and then he's got three back over there that are nursing. They've got he's got three calves on the ground. Uh, back in the back, but that's my girls right there. There's two of them, and there's the other one. Got a black nose and uh, legs kind of the knees and feet are kind of black. But she's a pretty one. All of them are pretty. I mean, I, I got a. I got a deal on these. They're gonna make some beautiful cows. They were, they are heifers, rather not cows, heifers. But they're gonna raise, make some real good cows. Um, this will be their first calf, which that's what a heifer means. They haven't had a calf yet, and uh, so he's a good bull for that. I think I told you that before. But he's a, he's a uh, throws a small calf, which is what you want on your first, um, your first time around. You don't want the a first time heifer to uh, to have problems calving. I have a big old calf that she can't push out. Although these cows are big enough um, that um, that they shouldn't have any problem anyway. Even if it's a pretty good sized bull, they probably won't have any, any problem. Now one of these, I think actually the black one, one of these was bred uh, before she came. The guy uh, the guy that brought them over here saw uh, saw one of them breed her, and I haven't seen this bull follow her, so I'm assuming she's bred by, I believe he said it was a black, uh, it was a, bl a brangus, a black cow, black bull, brangus bull. So one of these will be out of a brangus, and the others will be uh, uh, out of that red angus. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you my cows. I was at the fence feeding them some bread, I got some, I go to the bread store. My, my sheep love the bread, my cows. You know what, it's kind of strange. I come over here and I'll feed all of them. You know, they're his cows, my cows, whatever. But his cows just, I'll throw the bread on the ground. His cows will just sniff of it, pass it right by. My cows will eat it out of my hand. They'll eat it off the ground when the other ones leave it. My cows will jump up and jump over there and eat it real quick. His, his just don't care nothing about it. His bull, none of them. Just don't seem to care much about it. Seemed like one or two did, and that's probably the ones over there right now that are nursing. That All right, y'all don't need to fight. Y'all sisters of some sort. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd show you. She's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. She probably weighs 900 pounds, maybe a thousand. I'm not real good at guessing weight. I would say she's about at a thousand, pretty close to it. <clears throat> They're pretty close to full grown. She's gonna be big. She has got a butt on her. I mean, so let me see if I can scoot up and get, get her round stakes. Look at that butt. Some cows just kind of fall off, kind of straight back on the tail, but she's got that round. Ooh, she's pretty. She's gonna make some. She's gonna make a good-looking calf too. And then he's got some stupid donkeys. Them things bray all night long. My wife, we left the windows open the other night because it was nice and cool. My wife started to get up in the middle of the night she'd go shoot some donkeys. <laughs> anyway, uh, but boy, one of them just brays. Uh, the male just brays all the time. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, pretty cows, pretty cows, pretty heifers. Let's be specific. Black baldy. And I like the fact that her, around her eyes is black. Sometimes, like a Hereford cow, white-faced cow, 
they'll have a tendency to get pink eye if they don't have, uh, if they're around their eyes are white. So she's, uh, she's not gonna have that problem. My red one also has, has red around her eyes. So that's, that's just a good, uh, the, way it's, the way it's sculpted around her eyes is really a good thing. It's uh, because she probably won't ever have pink eye, which is, can be common in, in white cows, especially in like, uh, like I say, Hereford, something like that with a white, solid white face. Uh, they they seem to be more susceptible to get pink out. I have talked way too much about cows probably, but just wanted to show you mine. There's red. I hadn't really decided what I'm gonna call her, but I think I'm gonna call her red. I think I'm gonna call that one Ario. And I think I'm gonna call her Cracker. All white. Ario and just old red. Pretty, pretty stuff. I like my cows. Still don't know what I'm gonna do about my sheep yet. I've sold a couple. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but uh, I'm probably gonna sell some of my older ewes and my older ram and keep uh, three or four young, two or three young ewes and my young ram that I bought. We'll see. Anyway, take a look at my cows. Ain't they pretty? Me likey, me likey.